Hey guys, this is Brad from Tech Guy Web Solutions. Um, I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to um, bring a MySQL database over to a new host. Um, we're going to export it from one host and then we're going to import it another. Um, we're going to do that through PHP My Admin. Um, <clears throat> and you know, you'll need to do this if you ever if you feel like switching hosting companies or or if you want to upgrade to a dedicated server or whatever the reason is there's plenty of reasons to switch hosts um, so as you can see here I have uh, my cPanel open um, this is going to be this, the, the site we have with, with the database that we want to export and then we want to put it on this host um, the, this obviously this tutorial is for cPanel only um, if you're using something else, uh, well, if you're using something else, I'd suggest moving to a cPanel host. But um, it's, it's most likely the same thing. I mean, most most hosting companies offer PHP My Admin. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna go to the first web host. This is the one where we're actually exporting. So um, I'll I'll just show you what we have for databases here. You just click on the MySQL database icon and this is a list of the databases we have here. Um, it's prefixed with BuzzFlip which is the account name and the one we're going to be exporting is right here. It's a Drupal site so um, it's DRP3 so we can't do anything in this in this interface. We have to go in PHP My Admin. so I'll go back to the cPanel um, main page and then in databases where we just were you want to click PHP my admin and and this is the PHP my admin interface so we want to choose the, the database we want which is right here DIP3 You'll see we got a bunch of tables. Uh, this is a Drupal install, so um, it's all the tables within the Drupal CMS. So what we're going to do is click export. And here you, you have all types of options. You can you can export uh, individual tables if you want. Um, you know you can change the format. Um, but we're not going to touch any of this. We're going to stick to the quick method and click go. And it'll ask you to save a file, a, a .sql file. So just save that um, wherever to your desktop. And depending how big your database is, um, this could take 10 seconds or it could take an hour. Um, well, I didn't realize how how big this database was. Um, <clears throat> I guess you're stuck with me for the next five minutes. Um, well, I guess while that's downloading, I can show you what we're going to do. We're going to log into the other. Um, yeah, because this is the new host right here. We actually don't have a database created yet to import it to, so uh, that works out good. So we'll go to um, cPanel has a really good function. It's a database wizard. So if you click on MySQL database wizard, um, you know, it's really quick. You just name your database. I'm just going to name it Drupal. And of course, Newberry P is the name of the cPanel account, so that'll get prefixed on to the to your name. So, uh, next step, and here you just want to create a user. I usually call it same same as the uh, the uh, database name and password. Uh, you want a really good password. Um, you can generate one, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to type it in manually. So. I have a really um, secure algorithm for passwords. Uh, I would advise you do the same thing. Um, you can look up um, password algorithms and find a, a nice little secure system. Um, hold on. But you just got to remember it. That's the problem. Uh, there we go. All right. So I'm going to create the user. And then it'll ask me for the privileges we want this user to have. You know, you can just click create or delete or whatever. Um, we're going to click all privileges. And that's it. Our new, our new database is set up. Newberry P, Drupal, and the, 
well the user and then the new the database is named the same thing so now we'll just return home and remember this is the the site we're transferring the database to let's just see how that downloads come in yep the downloads done so now what we're going to do is you remember we, we we exported it from PHP my admin on the first host so now we're going to go to PHP my admin on this server the new server and you'll see I only have this one database um, this is a brand new cPanel account so so you want to click on the database the new one and you'll see it's completely empty so what you want to do is click import and now what you want to do is browse and get the file you downloaded from the other ho the other host which is right here and then you want to click go and sometimes it can give you problems but it's usually pretty smooth um, hopefully sometimes the SQL file can get corrupt or or what are some certain settings can mess you up but um, usually goes pretty well and again the bigger the database the longer it's going to take this is kind of a big one so. second now hmm I don't know why it's taking this long um you know what I want to see how big that database is one is oh actually yeah some sums up with this C panel it says zero for all of my databases I don't know why but all right let's cut yeah so it imported successfully uh, 493 queries so as you can see this is the new database and these are all the tables um, I'll show you here <clears throat> see all the tables are in there and we can compare them to the other site, to the old host, and you'll see it's the same thing. Uh, so that's it. That's how you import a database, and uh, it sounds a lot harder than it really is. So um, thanks for watching.